Hi, Lara, out there in Belfast. I love your song. I love it. And I'm going to show everybody it right now. Love you. <laughs> and just how could you not love that? <laughs> Okay guys, so here I am back at the throne chair carving. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm going to make this into a video today or not because all I'm really going to do today is I got to get this um, piece cut in here. So it's like a foot, foot uh, high and stuff like that. So anyways, I'm going to cut it out of that big block down there, that big sucker. And uh, yeah, so I got this paper here. It's just like that sign paper you see at the hockey games, people making signs. So what I'm gonna do is make a template for that and then transfer, I got scissors here too. I'm gonna make a template and then I'm gonna transfer the template into the big stump down there and carve it, okay? So that's that, yep, sure, yep. Okay, so the piece is now cut up. And once again, this cedar is the heaviest cedar I've ever used. I know when I'm going to be doing the carving on the chair. I'm going to get be getting splattered in the face by water. I won't mind, it's refreshing. So I had to roll this up. See by the size, you guys, even this piece here, it's over 100 pounds. I'm telling you right now because I can lift 100 pounds pretty easy. But then again, I am getting older. But uh, I could. Now uh, I had to roll this up the hill. So, I don't know if it's, I used my template, had to roll it up here, so I guess this will probably be a ads free video because, well, I'll probably be swearing trying to get this piece in here because I know it's not going to go. Nothing ever goes perfect for me, it's always a challenge, right? So, it's what it's about, challenge. Rob's not here to help me, so I got to do it myself. So, I'll set the phone in the uh, tripod here. And it's time to break my back. Okay, so I got to lift this up and try and wedge it in there. I know it's not going to work. did it backwards. This part needs to be spun. Oh well. I know lots of you are going to tell me that I use my back wrong, but no, that's the way I use my back. I got bad knees from roofing for all those years, so I got my muscles in the back the way it's set up, but it's in there. Now I need to kind of get it in there.
I gotta get my chainsaw. I know some of you are thinking, like I was talking to my buddy Gordy this morning, that I should uh, silicone all inside here so water doesn't get trapped in and rot the cedar, but it's just going to be too much of a hard job to pull this block out of there once it's in there. Unless, I don't know. Anyways, i got to slice it a bit here and hope it will slide in. I'm just going to put this wedge under it so when I slice it, it doesn't fall and buckle up my chainsaw uh, bar. Not a perfect fit, but it will do. Okay, so see a gap there. That's okay. I wish the whole thing was tight like that, but it's nice and tight back there. So that's okay. Um, now I gotta cut it flush with the seat and this part off make this flush okay guys so i'll be running my 291 with uh, a ripping chain okay to get this part done i never show how to uh how i show me uh like there's lots of stuff behind the scenes that go on with chainsaw carving guys like i've had to sharpen my chain so many times because of the rot in the center of the tree there um, hitting little rocks and stuff like that. It just is what it is. So there's a lot more to chainsaw carving than what most people show behind the scenes, right? So anyways, I never show how to sharpen my chainsaws because, well, I'm lazy. And I use my Dremel to sharpen my chainsaws. And if I try and show people how to sh sharpen their chainsaws with your Dremel, I'm gonna get so many friggin' hater comments because it's, it's really not the proper way, but. I don't know, uh, that's the way I do it, right? Okay, so I'll set the camera up and uh, we'll start carving here. We're not carving, but we'll start taking that piece flush. the owner just showed up so I'll talk to him okay sorry about that guys he just uh, showed up we went over everything and um, yeah so I'm gonna carve a huge wood spirit on the back I'm gonna carve a huge wood spirit on the back of this piece too so all I'm gonna do today is cut this seed in and then that will be it for today
get my other saw. Don't try cutting with dull. Don't try cutting with dull chains, guys. It's no sense. Okay, it should be sharp now. And if you can see the grain in this wood, it's pretty wide grain. That means this tree grew super fast. Yeah. Okay, so I'm all wrapped up for the day. Like I said, I was just gonna block that seed in. Got some uh, big heavy blocks down there to deal with. I'll get those, or Rob will get those. He picked up all the other stuff last time, put it to the pile. But here you go, guys. So you can see here, she's in. She is in. There's big cracks there. I'll put wedges there in there. This thing, this chair, is gonna be 
sea tall, like three coats of sea tall in it. So, you know, you don't have to deal with the, the shit, right? So there's still a lot of work to do. But guys, like, uh, basically the hard stuff's done. Now it's, n next time I come here, maybe two or three days, now it's time to start having fun. It's almost fun time. I'm gonna take a piece of the cedar home with me. Yeah, so I just fell down here, my fat ass. But anyways, I'm gonna take a piece of the cedar home with me and maybe uh, slice it on my bandsaw. Uh, if I can't, my bandsaw won't slice that thick. I might have to ask uh, Pete. If he could help me. Hi Pete. How you doing? If you're watching this. Anyways, so I started also I started stripping the bark on this edge here too. Okay. So that's it guys. I uh, hope you all well. And we'll see you on this carving a couple days. I don't want to get keep it dragging on, so there'll probably be like maybe two more videos coming. If you guys are okay with me making these videos, just let me know. And let me know what you think of the chair so far. Oh yeah, shit, I put my tripod away, but I gotta sit in it. Ah, forget it, I won't do it this video. Yeah, I will. It's pretty comfy. to have a pop holder or a beer holder and an ashtray holder. Okay, you can all see that my tools are in my Forerunner truck and I've been kind of thinking about getting a truck. Maybe it's time so, but uh, let's hold on. Uh-oh. What's that there? Uh-oh, Rob's got a Ford uh, 250 4x4, custom for sale, fully loaded with cedar. Uh-oh. It's a three-quarter ton, actually. Uh-oh. Hey Bap, Jordy gets. Jordy gets. I don't know about you guys, but we have a thing called White Spot here in Canada, well, British Columbia. And they got these pickle fries. And I'm telling you, the pickle fries are just killer. Ah, yeah, they're hot. Right above the sky, stars and bright, up above the dark sky. I <laughs> sent that video, video of me uh, his daughter Lara in uh, Belfast, Ireland. But uh, Lara, that was the first thing I watched when I woke up this morning. And you know, I'm in such a good mood right now. And that video just put me in a good mood all day. So thank you very much. And uh, say hi to your brother and your mom. Thanks, Bap. Really means a lot. Check out his channel, guys, YouTube. Uh, I Can Carve. Yeah, he's a great man and a great part of this community. Thanks again, guys.